everyone, welcome along to today's live video. It's Tuesday. I had to just look at the, the date and the time there. Hi, hello, hello. I'm just going to get my wee laptop sorted out here. I thought it was going to be late. I was boosting pretty quick there. You know, just like I have an alarm that goes off on my phone half an hour before I need to do the live just to be like, hello, remember, I know you're in the zone, you've got a live video to do start packing your stuff up, get everything ready, and then I'll leave it until about 3.48. And then I'm like, ah! <laughs> and it's like, go, go, go. Oh, anyway, hi, welcome along everyone. So, I don't want to be that mom who is jammy and kind of rubs it in and is just a little bit um, unaware of everyone else's feelings, but my kids are going back to school next week now, it's been confirmed. So, in terms of our lives, see that's where I was going. I wasn't just being like, hello, guess what? Uh, I'm gonna have a little think and see how we play it. I've actually today bought some extra lights and stuff so that I can have two sets of kit and I'm gonna see if I can set up a live setup studio at home and have one here so that on the days that I'm picking up the kids, yeah, most days, <laughs> um, I could potentially do the video at home after I've got them this will change once the weather changes though because we will be in the park <laughs> long after school. So for now, keep things as is, um, but I might change the, might make, a few, might make a few changes, we'll see, we'll see. I think the, um, the motto of this year is um, everything changes, just go with the flow. So we'll see how things are. And, um, I've never not to mood so much, but they should be going back on Monday and then we'll see how, how things are. Oh, who's mad? <laughs> I just see the little grumpy emoji. I'm assuming it's because your kids aren't going back. I wish everybody was. I think the sooner we can get all those kids back in school, the better. But for now, let's do some colouring and great news. I mean, I knew, I knew this art and design malarkey or painting schmainting, as my lovely friends call it. Hey Joe, how's your painting schmainting going on? I'm like, yeah, it's fine. I knew it would all pay off. Guess what's happened? Bambino are gonna send me two more packs of crayons so that the kids can have a pack each and I can keep these ones in the studio, which is brilliant because I just can't go over how good they are, so much so that I want to continue colouring the um, fairy house, this one, in World of Flowers and just see how, if we can do an entire picture in crayons because I just, I mean, adult colouring with crayons, it just sounds like an oxymoron, a paradox. A metaphor. One of them. It's something. I just, I just love it. It's like so. Um, I wouldn't say it's so meta, but I don't know if it is. I hear people saying that. That's so meta. What does that even mean? I think I'm not hipster enough to really get that, but I just said it to try and appear cool. Anyway, there we are. Let's do some colouring. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, Claire says she's not managed to find them yet. I wonder if you can only get them in the UK. If you Google Bambino Clay Crayons. Oh look, they've got they've got a website. Bambinocrayons.com. I can't I, I can't well maybe I could pin a tweet a pin a comment. Hold on, let me try. Bambino crayons.com mm, I don't think I can pin it. I've typed it. Good luck, everyone. Right, I'm gonna flip the camera. Hold on. Right, here we go. Yeah, people are saying they can find them in the UK. I wonder if it is like a UK thing. Oh, someone just, I just saw somebody say they've got a ticket for the event in Dundee. I'll, I'll speak about that at the end. Oh no, people in America do get them. I think you just need to um, just do a bit of Googling. I read somebody had written a comment yesterday and it made me laugh so much. It said, I've come, it, along the lines of, I'm paraphrasing, I've come to the conclusion that buying art supplies and actually partaking in art are two different hobbies, which I just thought was so funny. You know exactly what she means, don't you? <laughs> Oh, 
I've got so many art supplies as well. I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. There are far worse things to um, be addicted to and hoard. Right, top tip when you're sharpening these. I'm just using my trusty Statler sharpener. Don't do it over your book in case wee bits come out. I um, Where's my camera? I initially sharpen it with this one, the smaller hole, and then I shift over to the larger one to get more of a point. Hope that's helpful. Top tip. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna color this all with these uh, crayons. When in a pandemic, literally get your crayons. I thought as well, actually, when I was um, at home last night, I thought, I wonder if I could do an entire picture with wax crayons as well. So I got the trusty Crayolas out and quickly came to the conclusion that no, I cannot <laughs> do a picture with wax crayons. There's such a huge difference. No problem doing a picture with Crayola pencils but I think just wax crayons, they really, um, I think you would just struggle with them in this application. Oh, and then I'm gonna do that bit pink as well. I was trying to see if I had any of those woodless coloring pencils, because I'm sure this is what they would be like. I couldn't find any. I might have to purchase some purely um, for market research um, and to help you guys make better choices. So I'll just, I'll take one for the team and order them <laughs> tonight for us all. And hopefully they'll be here soon and I can compare, but I'm pretty sure they're, they're similar, if not the same. <sighs> right. Everyone loves a Bambino crayon. I know. Right, uh, I think I, was that just, mm. I forget what, I forget what I was doing all these different places. I'm just gonna wing it. I'll do some just with the crayon and the pencil over the top and I'll do some when I do the really light crayon underneath and use that as a base layer. But this sort of pinky rosy color palette is pleasing. So some of you will remember last year, just before Evie's birthday, I got massively into cake decorating and baking. I mean, it was lockdown, so granted everyone was. Um, my new hobby that I'm borderline obsessed with and can't stop watching random YouTube videos on is DIY. Things like how to properly hang a picture on plasterboard walls, which is what I have. Usually I use those Velcro strips and I've always felt like I am, like I'm cheating. Uh, a bit like when you say that you've been home baking, but you've really just bought the kit that you add, <laughs> you add water and an egg to. I mean, is it really home baking? Is it really DIY? Anyway, oh my word. Been watching videos this morning when I was eating my lunch about how to hang pictures properly and find myself on Amazon it turns out it's just as dangerous buying DIY supplies as art supplies. I was like, oh, I need those, I need those expanding um, plasterboard screws. I need that, that tool for putting them in. Jeez Louise. Oh, Kath says, have you changed your cover photo because you're gonna do the flip through? No, I just, I just changed it because we got the photos back from the um, photographer and they were so beautiful. Yeshin, he does such a, a lovely, lovely job. I was like, oh, I need to, I need to change that. So I've uploaded, actually, if you go onto my website, www.johannabassford.com, click on either books or the Worlds of Wonder picture on the homepage. I've uploaded a few new pictures onto the Worlds of Wonder page so that you can um, see the spreads that I'd colored and then we had photographed. They're super pretty, even if I do say so myself. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not sure how um, breakable these crayons are. I did just whack that one pretty hard down on the table, it's okay. 
I'm sure we had crayons a bit like this when I was at school. But they were much longer and they had like a blue plastic wrapper around each of them. And I remember loving them at school. I would always pick them over the somewhat tatty colouring pencils that we were left with. Carla says, how was the recording? Fine. I had a slight hiccup, so I was in the kid's cubby underneath the stairs. It's like a song that Evie sing sings at school there. Um, but the kids were being so noisy. I was like, this isn't going to work. We're picking up loads of background noise from like the boiler, which is in the same, well, not the same room, but in the next room. But it wasn't so windy last night. So last minute I thought, right, I'm, I'll try upstairs. So um, I did what any high functioning adult would do crawled into the wardrobe and checked uh, checked if it would work in there I did it in there instead so it's just um, amongst all my clothes and my shoes and things sitting on the floor and I did the recording in there and I think it went really well apart from so it's just a little 30 second thing that I had to read and I actually wrote the script so it's just a wee bit of text lifted from I think I'd written it as an introduction to the book or something, I can't remember. So uh, I should really have picked wording that I was happy with saying, but it got to a bit where I have to say, oh, what was the phrase? It's something like travel from world to oh, world to world. So I have to say the word world as in worlds of wonder, which I can say world when I'm saying worlds of wonder. But when I try to say that word to that word, so world to world, I have to say it like that. I can't say world anyway. I started getting up, all up flustered and <laughs> panicky that I was being a chump and had invented a speech impediment for myself and that the Americans, you lot, would think I was saying world as in like spinning around, like whirlpool of world. I'm just, I'm getting myself flustered again, just thinking about the situation. So when you hear it, and you hear me saying world to world, know that I'm saying world to world. <laughs> oh, God, I love the Scottish accent. World, world. I don't, I don't know why it was such, a, such an issue. I'm gonna do all the centers the same kind of egg yolk yellow to tie them all in. And then I think I'm gonna go over the top of them with a different color and differentiate them that way. Oh, I forgot that little flower down there. I know it really annoys people when I, um, <laughs> when I, when I forget a flower. You must be sitting at home going, no, go back, go back. Oh, it's far too pale. I'll do all of this in this peachy colour and then go over it. Oh, try asking for someone called C Carl that you have a Scottish accent. C Carl. Carl. Yeah, it's a funny one, isn't it? I was having a discussion the other day with somebody about the word buried, as in buried in snow or buried in snow. I've been buried. The house is buried. The house is buried. It's just, it's a funny one, isn't it? Mia makes me laugh. Sometimes if she bumps her, her head or something, her head, she'll go, Oh, my head! <laughs> it's so funny. I've bumped my head, Mum. Right, let's do these leaves. I'm gonna do, there's only two shades of green in the Bambino um, crayons, so that's lucky. We don't need to, um, we don't need to torture ourselves over which to use. 
Oh, has everyone got bad weather? Ours is much better today, actually. I think actually yesterday was the first, it felt like, when I say this tentatively, felt like the first day of spring. It was really warm. Kids were outside not wearing ski suits, always a bonus. So for these ones, these wee leaves, because they all sort of look like they're layered on top of each other, I do that thing where I press quite hard at the base of the leaf. And just like when I'm using a colouring pencil, ease off on the pressure towards the tip. And what I'll do is I'll do it predominantly all in this pale sort of grassy green. And then ease off and do a few in the darker green. I'm going to do these wee nooks in here as well because they would be, you would see a leaf under there. Now I remember colouring this page in lockdown last year because it is, although it's in Flourish, it's also available as a free download. Oh sorry, although it's in Worlds of Wonder, it's also available as a free download in Flourish my free colouring book that I gave away last year where I did a little preview of some of the pages of the new book. So I did colour colour it last year and I remember using the colouring pencils and it took quite a long time. I think if you're looking for a speedy way to colour, crayons could be your answer. Oh look, I've made a mistake there when I was inking it. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to do all this sort of grassy green first and then I'll do the darker green. Yeah, it's much quicker actually, now that I think about it. Not that you should be hurrying your colouring, but you know, if you're not somebody that's massively patient but you still want to get your creativity fixed, these would be lovely. Right, let me just zoom out so that you can see how we're looking so far. Hi, Bev. Bev, I've sent you a message. Did you get it? Check your Facebook Messenger. <laughs> I don't often message people in there. So make, make sure you found it. It might have gone into some sort of like spam or junk Facebook Messenger folder. Oh, do you know what? I just remembered. I was going to tell you this straight away when I got online today and I, and I forgot. You know how I told you the story last night about um, being in the woods and seeing that, that husky and thinking it was a wolf? Well, no word of a lie. This honestly, I swear, happened last night. Left the studio pretty prompt because I had to get home and do that recording. Gathered all my stuff up, got in the car, hopped in the car. Still daylight. Amazing driving um, back home and have to drive through our wee town to get back to our house. And uh, there was a man walking a white husky along the pavement. And like, I don't think a husky is a particularly popular breed of dog. Like you don't see a lot of huskies. It's not like a golden retriever that you see all the time. And there you go, there was a man walking a husky and I burst out laughing and I'm looking at it thinking, is that the one that I saw the other week? But obviously I'm miles and miles away from the woods that we were in that day, but I just couldn't believe it. I was like, oh look, there's another wolf. We need, to, we need to start wearing a wee red coat and carrying a basket if I keep seeing wolves this much. I laughed so much. Right, all these wee bits where the 
oh, it's quite zoomed out, isn't it? Let me zoom in a wee bit more, where the petals are sort of turned over, these little overlaps. What I do is I colour the corners and then leave the tip, the middle bit, a bit whiter. You don't have to, I just think it makes it look shiny. Not that that's a, a necessity for a pink flower, but it's pretty. Right, now for these wee bits in between where the petals are, I think I'm actually just gonna do these really dark pink, so push hard really dark because there would be no sunlight getting in there so you just need to give a hint of colour. Pink makes it feel as though there's loads of flowers crammed in there on top of each other and that's us uh, that um this little centre flower needs to be darker because obviously it's almost completely tucked under there. I'll do that in pencil. Right. Now, Linda Murray, I see you saying they're a UK product and they don't even ship out the UK. If you're speaking about the Bambino crayons, I think they do, because I've seen other people saying that they do ship outside the UK. So um, I would maybe just double check that. I think it maybe depends where you're looking. And if you're not speaking about the Bambino crayons, because I do like miss half the conversation, um, ignore that. <laughs> but I have seen people saying that they can get them. Let's do the um, the mushroom. I'm going to do it red. It's not very imaginative, but I just think it works really nicely. So why mess up like a a perfectly good color palette? I'm gonna, um, I'll email Bambino and ask where we can, where people can get their things from. I feel I couldn't find them on Amazon actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I did have to go to their website. I can't really remember. Hmm, was it on their website? I think so. Anyway. I'll pop the website in the title for the video so you can get it there as well as in that random comment that I posted. Now, because this is quite a big area, I'm going to do that thing where I have it consistently inconsistent. So don't try and make it all exactly flat. What I'll do is have it darker red, sort of around the big items, and then deliberately make it a bit paler and mottled when there's less going on. Zoom in a bit more, it's maybe a bit difficult to see. We could actually get the old baby oil out and use that to blend all this red. That would flatten it out a little bit and make it more consistent. I tried the, oh! Will we try the Karen Dash blend? I'm too scared to do it on that bit. This is this blender that everyone's raving about that I've been like, nah, <laughs> I don't really get it. I don't want to try it on that. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try the blender on here first because I'm actually quite happy with that little mushroom page. 
So the blender pen, the Derwent blender pen, that is my absolute fave, doesn't work well, doesn't work at all with these. Let's see if this does. Oh, now we've maybe, we've maybe found our niche. <laughs> okay, so this, is this, the Caran Dash Full Blender Bright Two Sticks. I can't get it to do all the things it says on the back, but I think it's gonna be nice on this. I mean, it is the Oh, Emily Lachlan, I just, I'm just not feeling as much love for it as you do. I mean, it is nice. I think you see Karen Dash and you just have crazy high expectations. Like, I feel it should blend it with the proficiency of an Instagram filter and possibly embellish it with gold unicorn dust and sprinkles. <laughs> like... It does definitely work. I, th I think I am just being a bit picky because it's Karen Dash. What time is it? Oh, it's, it's half past. Mercy me. I'm going to stop because I know what I'm like. I'll just keep going and going. Let me zoom out. Crayons, can you believe it? Crayons. Let me show you the mess on my desk. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Always keep your workspace tidy and, and um, tidy up as you go along. Put all your pencils back where they go, where they belong. No. Oh, Christina says, when you sharpen your crayons, do you peel the paper away? I will do once I get down to that, but I haven't actually got to the bit where I am, um, where I need to. But yeah, that green's getting a bit close. So yeah, is, is the answer to your question. I will. <sighs> right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope that was, um, I hope that was, I think I'm going to keep going with that. I love that. Who would have thought crayons? Amy says that's come together so quickly. Hasn't it just? Hasn't it just? I mean, you shouldn't, you should take your time with colouring, but if you're someone who likes to see quite quick results, who needs a little bit of, not instant gratification, but you know, you need to see something back to keep you motivated, then crayons, those kind of crayons, don't use a wax crayon, that will demotivate you. They might be, um, they might be a good wee option for you because you definitely do feel happy looking at it. I wonder if it'll look better in this light. I don't, I can never really tell if it looks any different. Right, thanks very much. I should read some comments. Everybody loves a Crayola. Yeah, do you know what? Crayolas are wonderful for certain applications. And, um, and I'm, yeah, I would still buy them, especially their pencils, and Crayola crayons are lovely as well, but I just, I think you would just get frustrated trying to use them in this application. Anyway, Bambino clay crayons. Who knew? Who knew? Oh, Barbara says in French, crayons means, hold on, crayons means pencils. I never knew that. I did French at school. That never really occurred to me. Incredible. Um, let me just, Lisa says, are they like a chalk pastel? No, much more precise, less smudgy, and you can sharpen them and use them pretty much like, I mean, you just saw, I was using them basically like a coloring pencil. They're almost like a smooth, thick coloring pencil. Um, and not a wax-based one. So you know how like wax-based pencils are kind of like 
unctuous and buttery and do that kind of claggy thing sometimes. Not like that. Smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Right. I hope that's been helping everyone. Who... <laughs> Everyone's just amazed. Crayons, crayons, who knew? I know, I know. Embrace your child. I think they call that, um, is it Peter Pan syndrome? The Peter Pan effect? I can't remember. When we first started making adult colouring books, um, psychologists were speaking about this Peter Pan theory where people um, feel happy when they pretend to be young again. So maybe if you want an extra boost of happy and carefreeness and you know, you're just done with the adulting, you can say, not only am I getting my colouring book, but I'm also getting my crayons out and then just like double whammy, dial down on like the fun, nostalgia, innocence of colouring. And there's definitely no, um, no adulting involved. Always good, always good. Oh, Imogen says you could put them in a pencil extender when they start to get small. Yeah, I've got a pencil extender here actually. Anyone that doesn't know, this is a pencil extender. So, um, horribly, you know in like some movies you see ladies smoking and they have their cigarette in a cigarette holder and it's really long, kind of like in like Great Gatsby type movies. It's a bit like that idea. So what it's designed for is when you're using colouring pencils and you've sharpened them down to like this much, but you just will not part with them. Um, you just pop them in here and then it extends it. So it, but um, you might need to find a way to, you might need to wrap a little bit of masking tape around it, thicken it up, because at the moment I think it would rattle about, but definitely an option. Right, I'm, I'm just I'm just rattling on about colouring pencils and crayons. I'm gonna go, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Good luck getting some um, clay crayons. I'll contact Bambino and find out the best places to order them in the UK and the US and the uh, rest of the world as well. Okay, thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.